Welcome back in. It's mid-morning on WKYT. It's a danger you may not even know you're facing. With our homes closed up for the cold weather, it's a good time to have your home tested for radon. Beverly Miller, Senior Extension Associate for UK, joins us to explain the dangers of radon. And we do thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. It's an important issue. Yes, it's good to have yes. you. What is radon? Well, radon is, is a gas. It's invisible, it's odorless, and it's tasteless. And it's a decay product of uranium. And it is uh, a carcinogen, um, and it can cause lung cancer. In fact, it's the number one cause of lung cancer for people who don't smoke. But if you don't test for it, you're likely not to even know it's out there, right? right? You will not know if there's radon in your home unless you test for it. And then the Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, has ranked every state, or I'm sorry, every county in the country mm -hmm. for its potential for radon. And they also rank the states. And Fayette County ranks is a zone one, which means it has the highest potential for radon. And Kentucky is a zone one state, which means we're, have the highest potential and for radon. Means pay attention. <laughs> pay attention, okay. yes. So what if, uh, Beverly, you go in, you have it tested, and you do have radon levels that are uh, outside the normal limits? Right. So they recommend that if you test for radon and your level is 4.0 picocuries, which is how they um, measure it, mm -hmm. that you should take steps to mitigate that radon in your home. And there are proven methods to mitigate radon that do work mm -hmm. um, for existing homes. And of course, if you're building a home or um, putting on an addition, you can build in those systems and then activate them if you do have a problem because you won't know, even in a new home, if you might have radon until the house is built. How do you do that testing? I've seen that those little kits that you can buy. Are those adequate? Well, actually, in Kentucky, you don't even have to buy a kit. They're free in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. So in Fayette County, you can go to the health department out on Newtown Pike and get a kit. Or elsewhere in Kentucky, you can um, contact the state health department and get a free kit. Is it something that has to be done regularly or once you've, you're tested, if you're okay, are you okay? Well, no, because it can change over time. And um, especially, um, as you said, now that our homes are closed up for the winter, it is a good time to test because that gas can build up. But even during the summer, um, people close up their houses for air conditioning. And it does change over time. And I'll, one of the myths is that if um, your neighbor has low radon, then you don't have to worry. And that's not true either. Mm -hmm. It varies from ho house to house. An important thing to do then. Yes. Well, very good information. Thanks for coming in and Thank telling you. us about it. Or Thank giving you. us something else to worry about. <laughs> Although it no, is. No, to get to the bottom yeah, of it. I was going to say, get to the bottom of it. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it very much.